Hey everyone, welcome back to Makaya Wealth Building Channel. In today's video we will talk about our beginner's guide on how to invest in the stock market. And we'll be covering everything you need to know to get started with investing in stocks and making money. Investing in the stock market can be a bit intimidating, especially if you're new to the game. But it's one of the best ways to grow your wealth and build a solid financial future. So, let's dive in and learn how to invest in the stock market. Understanding the basics of the stock market. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of investing, let's first understand the basics of the stock market. The stock market is simply a place where companies sell their shares to the public. When you invest in a company's stock, you're essentially buying a small piece of that company. As the company grows and becomes more profitable, the value of its shares increases, which means the value of your investment also goes up. On the other hand, if the company performs poorly, the value of its shares may decrease, which means you could lose money. It's important to understand that the stock market can be volatile and unpredictable. The value of stocks can fluctuate based on a variety of factors, including economic conditions, company performance, and global events. Setting Investment Goals Now that we have a basic understanding of the stock market, let's talk about setting investment goals. Before you start investing, it's important to have a clear idea of what you want to achieve with your investments. Do you want to build long-term wealth? Are you looking for a short-term investment to make a quick profit? Do you want to invest in companies that align with your values? These are all important questions to consider when setting investment goals. Your goals will help you determine the type of investments you should make and how much risk you're willing to take. Building a diversified portfolio. One of the key principles of investing is building a diversified portfolio. Diversification means spreading your investments across different asset classes and sectors to minimize risk. For example, you might invest in stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities. Within each asset class, you might invest in a variety of companies and sectors. By diversifying your portfolio, you can reduce your risk and potentially increase your returns. Choosing stocks to invest in. Now that we've covered the basics of the stock market and setting investment goals, let's talk about how to choose stocks to invest in. There are a variety of approaches you can take when choosing stocks, but here are a few key things to consider. First, consider the company's financial health. Look at the company's revenue, earnings, and debt levels. You want to invest in companies that are financially stable and have a history of consistent growth. Second, Consider the company's industry and competition. Is the company operating in a growing industry with strong demand and limited competition? Or is the industry saturated with competitors and facing challenges? You want to invest in companies with a competitive advantage and a clear path for growth. Third, consider the company's management team. Look at the CEO's track record, the board of directors, and the company's overall culture. A strong management team can make all the difference in a company's success. Consider the company's valuation. Is the stock priced fairly compared to its earnings and growth potential? You want to invest in stocks that are undervalued and have the potential for future growth. Investing strategies. There are a variety of investing strategies you can use when investing in the stock market. Here are a few common ones. First, there's value investing. This involves buying stocks that are undervalued based on their financials and growth potential. The idea is that the market will eventually recognize the stock's true value, leading to higher returns. Second, there's growth investing. This involves buying stocks in companies that are expected to grow rapidly in the future, even if their current valuation is high. The idea is that the company's growth will drive the stock price higher. Third, there's index investing. This involves investing in an index fund, which tracks a broad market index such as the S&P 500. This is a low-cost, low-risk approach to investing in the stock market. Managing risk. While investing in the stock market can be a great way to grow your wealth, it's important to understand that there are risks involved. The market can be unpredictable, and individual stocks can be volatile. Hey friends! If you are enjoying this video consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to receive a notification whenever we post a new video. One way to manage risk is to diversify your portfolio, as we discussed earlier. Another way is to set stop-loss orders, 
which automatically sell a stock if it drops below a certain price. It's also important to do your own research and not rely solely on the advice of others. And don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Getting started. Now that you have a basic understanding of how to invest in the stock market, it's time to get started. Here are a few tips to help you take the plunge. First, open a brokerage account. This will allow you to buy and sell stocks. There are many online brokerage firms that offer low fees and user-friendly platforms. Second, start small. Invest a small amount of money in a few stocks to get a feel for how the market works. Third, be patient. The stock market can be unpredictable in the short term, but historically, it has provided strong returns over the long term. Remember, investing in the stock market requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn. It's important to stay informed and keep up to date on market trends and news. And don't forget to keep a long-term perspective. Investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but rather a way to build wealth over time. Thank you for watching this beginner's guide on how to invest in the stock market. We hope you found it helpful and informative. And that's it for our beginner's guide on how to invest in the stock market. By understanding the basics of the stock market, setting investment goals, building a diversified portfolio, choosing stocks to invest in, using investing strategies, managing risk, and getting started, you'll be well on your way to growing your wealth and achieving your financial goals. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more investing tips and tutorials. Good luck on your investing journey!